Hello, today we're going to talk about how to rebraid the JK tailgate check um, bracket. In this case, I'm going to cut this old braid off my wife's Jeep uh, to use it as an example. What you're going to need um, to do this is nine feet of 550 paracord. Make sure that you seal the ends with a lighter so it doesn't fray on you. You're going to need a lighter and a sharp pair of scissors. The next thing you want to do is just take your paracord, fold it in half, and find the center. It's going to get the center. We're going to pinch it and hitch it up through here. So just you know, basically put the loop through, pull the other ends through, and you're going to make a little hitch. After you hitch it through, you're going to take the other two ends and cross each other so that they pull through the other bracket. So you can just take these, pull them so they're snug. Okay. So once you get your paracord through the other bracket in opposite directions from each other, you know, this one comes up, comes this way, this one comes down and goes this way. You have your two ends here. The nine inches of paracord gives you about it, approximately nine inches from the center of this hole to the center of this hole, which is your tailgate isn't quite 90 degrees open. If you want to have more of a swing open, um, it's about uh, a foot of paracord braid per inch of distance. So nine feet, this is about nine inches. And the reason I don't have it fully 90 is because this allows for a little bit of stretch. Although after you know, going on two years now, the paracord that was in here stretched maybe a quarter of an inch. So just to let you know that. So this is, um, so we have the tailgate where we want it. Keep these tight. And now you're gonna start braiding. You're gonna take, you can start with the top, pinch it, just go over, pinch it, take this piece, go underneath and back up through the hole. Okay, you got that? And it's just an overhand knot. So I'm gonna move the tailgate in a little bit, make sure this is nice and tight. And then once I have that where I want it, I'm going to snug that knot up. Once you get that first knot in there, your, your paracord is not going to go anywhere. So now you, you just do the opposite. So we start on the top. and if, So now this time we're going to go the bottom piece, cross over, take this one, go underneath, and pull it through. And pull that knot, knot up tight against it. We have our second knot. So you're just going to repeat. You're going to go, this time you're going to start at the top. Go cross it over, take this piece, go underneath, and back up through, like such. And you keep alternating. And if, you under, if you're ever wondering what side to start with or where you left off, is if you notice, there's a little loop right here. This little loop is the side you're going to start with. So that side goes over, go underneath it, pull it up through the hole, and there you go. So I'll just continue and make a few of these here. Every now and then push the knots up so they're tight. And I'm gonna pause here and braid this all the way down to the end. So now that I've completed the braid all the way to the bracket, um, I'm gonna show you how to finish this off. So one note, once you get your length set and you start the knots, to make it easier, because this gets kind of tight in here, is you can remove the lower bracket and just let it hang there while you, while you braid it up. It also is gonna make it easier for finishing it off because you can angle it better. But I'll do it on this just to show you how you do it here. So what you're gonna do is take your sharp scissors and you're gonna cut this end so you leave a little tail, maybe quarter of an inch. And we'll do the other side. There, so we have these two little tails here. You're next gonna take your lighter and what you wanna do, you want the flame to go across the end here, not in towards it because you don't wanna melt your braid. So you got your two ends there. So we're gonna take this, 
and you can't see my flame, but it's there. So I'm just starting to melt the end. And once it gets kind of liquidy, like, like that, you can take your lighter and smash it. So smash the end. Just smash it on there. And that's that end's finished. So I'll do the top one here. Get it all liquidy. And then take the edge of the lighter and just kind of smash it in there. And that'll smash it and seal it up. And there. And that's how you rebraid your, your paracord.